Are you in a relationship with someone with Crohn's disease? Or are you even interested in someone that has a chronic illness and you're not sure what to expect when it comes to dating that person? Well, stay tuned because I will give you the do's and don'ts of dating someone with a chronic illness. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for the best tips, tricks and information relating to Crohn's and colitis. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video every Sunday. Now, before we dive in, what you have to remember is that having a chronic condition can affect each individual differently and how it can affect that individual can vary from day to day. So let me take you through the do's and don'ts of dating someone with Crohn's or colitis. Number one, communication is key. Let them know that you are there for them. Ask them if they want you involved in hospital appointments for support or in helping them with taking medications. Some medications like biologics require them to be injecting themselves, so they may require some assistance if you both are living together. It can be worth asking them how comfortable they are in discussing their disease with you. They may not be that comfortable if the relationship is early, but give them time to become more and more comfortable with you. Number two, you may become the main person for them to vent to. They will no doubt need multiple hospital tests and be prodded and proked all the time and can become frustrated of being sick all the time. This can cause them to make you their number one person to go to vent to. Just make sure you're there for them, showing your support. It can go such a long way. Number three, don't get so focused on their condition that you don't live your life. Your partner has a chronic illness and you don't, so it's important to live your own life as well in order to avoid feeling trapped, which can essentially cause you to resent the relationship and cause it to break down. Number four, talk about intimacy. Believe it or not, Crohn's disease and other chronic conditions can affect intimacy and sometimes can put strains on relationships because some people may not feel comfortable being intimate with their partners because of the uh, physical symptoms that they have of their Crohn's disease. You also have to remember the combination of fatigue, symptoms and side effects on medications can impact things on things like sex drive and cause negative body image, which can cause your partner to close up and not be as comfortable showing their full selves to you. Intimacy is a key part of helping us connect with the other person, but intimacy doesn't just have to be physical, it can be emotional as well. Number five, don't dismiss their condition. This can make them feel like it's their fault for having Crohn's disease or other conditions, which in reality, they had no choice in having. It's just the luck of the draw for them. Never use their condition against them as this can do serious damage to not only their self-esteem, but to the relationship as well. Number six, don't take everything so personally. There are some things that no matter how open you are about having Crohn's disease can still be very embarrassing to talk about. Some people can be a literal open book and disclose all, but some still may want to keep some things private. If this is the case, don't take it personally. It takes time to open up about some intimate intricacies of Crohn's disease, and once they're at the stage where they feel comfortable with you, then you'll find they'll start to open up a bit more. Number seven, try and understand their disease. Do what you can to read up on it and find out how it can affect them, even their medications. Learning about their condition can be one of the biggest signs of support because it shows them you're putting in the effort to understand what they're going through. Number eight, don't pity them. Yes, it is tough having Crohn's disease and a lot of people do end up pitying or feeling sorry for us, but we are not fragile, we're not made out of glass, we don't need to be wrapped up in bubble wrap out of fear we're going to break. We can live perfectly normal lives with a few adjustments, so don't try and overdo things by trying to do everything for them and essentially mummy them. Number nine, don't underestimate the effects of a flare. With Crohn's disease, it can seem that there are more bad days than good ones, especially when you're going through a flare. If your partner is going through a flare, one of the best things you can do is just be there. Like the previous points I've made, don't try and overdo things, but just let them know that you are there for them if they need anything. Also, be prepared to speak up as many of us underplay our flares and we don't see how bad we can get. If you feel that your partner is underplaying things, then you may need to be the one that makes that decision to say, enough's enough, you're going to hospital. There you have it, my top nine tips on how to date someone with inflammatory bowel disease. But what about if you have Crohn's disease and are going on a date? Well, I've done a video on just that where I'll give you my top tips on dating with Crohn's disease 
and the link to that is in the description box below. Also, if you want to join an exclusive community of people who receive tips and tricks on living with Crohn's and colitis, make sure you sign up to my newsletter by visiting the link in the description box below. If you like this video, then let me know by giving me a like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, and leave a comment below on how useful you found this video. I love your feedback so I can make better videos for you all. Now make sure you check out these videos on more useful tips, tricks and information for Crohn's and colitis. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video, as well as leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode.